Follow me. I will guide you to the loop. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Rather narrow here. Be on your guard. Let us proceed with due caution. There's something down there. Is it safe to descend? I am in your debt. We are none of us alike in vocation. Our respective abilities are unique as well. I see it as a glad thing. We are well poised to supplement each other's strength. Sooner not battle those with whom we have no quarrel. Yet if they mean us harm, we can but defend ourselves. That might be what. I shan't let them harm you. when their skulls are smashed beyond repair. That was hard one. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries.
This isn't the way to our destination, but I presume you've a new one in mind. Lead on. The Arisen decides our path. We... ...have but to follow. Look here. Water is seeping through the cracks. is as courage does, they say. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Well met. Looking to make a... Hope to see you again. Our master has given us an order. Surely you do not intend to disobey. Evidently, it is a contraption that allows for travel between two points. That does sound convenient. I dare say they'd be alarming.
just give up. Don't get in your way. It is not an enemy to be taken lightly. We must strike boldly and with presence of mind. Yes, of course. I see it now. Tis a ballista, Arisen. It is not how we use this, but when how. I imagine it will be most beneficial in combat. I fear I shall lose sight of you if you go much farther. Don't be daft. What's that? That's it. Hmm. Buy a little something, won't you? Many thanks, sir. My talents lie in combining materials. I'm in your debt. Materials, eh? I shan't deny, they have their uses. This is most convenient. Well met. Does that make you the Arisen? Be at ease. I bear you no ill will. My name is Manella, and I have the honor of serving as a go-between twixt Her Majesty and the Gar. Come, let me buy you a drink. We've much to discuss, and I don't fancy standing round all the while. Shall we make for the tavern? Over here, if you would. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Ah, excellent find. Let's 
say, have you heard? They finally caught the fiend behind those ox cart raids. Aye, they caught someone. But word is he's just an underling. Seems the true ringleader gave him the slip. Captain Benjamin's all bent up over it. Tell is, he's still interrogating the lad, trying to get all he can out of him about the Coral Snake's operations. Wants to make a clean job of it, like. Well, here's hoping it puts those snakes to rout for the welfare of this city and our stomachs. Over here, Master. Did you lose sight of me? Here we are. The people of Batal view pawns with great prejudice. They're even forbidden from setting foot in the capital. Her Majesty, Empress Nadinya, has long been troubled by this custom, but a practice so ancient isn't easily overturned. Many are unhappy about the existence of this tavern, even though it lies outside the capital, simply because it was established as a place for pawns to gather. I know not what manner of person you are, but if you would aid me in my efforts to make the people of Batal more accepting of pawns, I would be glad to offer you a residence permit. Tis a bargain more than fair, for those who hold such permits may remain in back Batal without having their activities questioned. What say you? Glad I am to hear it. Take this, then. Simply show it to one of the sentries and you'll be granted entry to the capital. Oh, and if you encounter any troubled Batali along the way, I bid you assist them. They are harsh in their persecution of the pawns, but were they to be aided by the targets of their ire, mayhap a few stubborn hearts would soften. A simple plan, I know, but is the only one available, or so it seems to me. I bid you good fortune, Sir Arisen. So Gwafentia is the elvish word for scale cinder. I suppose we ought to... Pay a visit to a Batali blacksmith next. Follow me. I will guide you to the location. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. I like him. Information pertinent. To this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. All knowledge of this, God's way, stems from the forbidden magic research laboratory, which can be found here in the town. However, you would do well to first travel to the Altar Batal coast and seek a man named Ambrosius. For as a researcher of this laboratory, he will doubtless be able to answer many of your questions. We pawns cannot set foot in Batal. Ah, well met. You'll be glad to hear we've succeeded in capturing another of the coral snakes. Fortunately for us, this one started talking the moment a bargain of acquittal was mentioned. Mayhap through speaking with him, we might discern some means of loosening Hugo's tongue.
Well met. I can see you're accustomed to a heavy coin purse. Say, you wouldn't be looking to buy aught, would you? Vittles, sweetmeats, tonics. I've got it all. None of those strike your fancy. Then what say you to some new liquor? That perked your ears up, eh? Tell you what, I'll even sell it to you for cheap. Assuming I can count on your continued patronage. This stuff isn't easy to come by, and mine's the finest tasting for leagues about. Pleasure doing business with you, cuz. Would you look at that? I'm near out of stock. Suppose I'll have to find myself another runner. Well met, Sir Arisen. Let us dispense with pleasantries and cut to the heart of the matter. I have a task that requires someone of your skill and discretion. Some days ago, a fiend attacked Empress Nadinia during her supplications. Her Majesty was unharmed, but the would-be assassin fled, gifting me a wounded arm in the process. He may seek to strike again, yet I fear I am not fit to guard the Empress as I am. And so I turn to you, Sir Arisen. Will you catch this villain in my stead? My deepest thanks. Her Majesty will next begin her supplications in Flamebearer Palace. I would use this opportunity to lure her assassin from the shadows. Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisen. I trust you understand the gravity of this task. As a matter of fact, lo, there's a... We shall await you here, Master. Hmm. And who might? Sir Arisen. You've come just in time. Sir Armhild, tis my pleasure to present to you the good Arisen, come to aid us in apprehending the brigand who would threaten Her Majesty's life. Well met. Your assistance is most welcome. Without our Empress to guide us, Batal has no future. Her Majesty cannot be allowed to come to harm. Indeed. We are well glad of your aid. May it prove unnecessary. Ere Her Majesty's supplications begin, I shall give you a description of our target. Pray seize the rogue should you espy him. We would, however, prefer that this affair be kept quiet. Be not reckless in your decision, lest you apprehend the innocent. Empress Nadinia shall commence her prayers any moment now. I would ask that you safeguard her with your life, should it come to that. O oh, Lambent Flame, we offer thee these words of prayer on behalf of our people. ye supposed to be? Fie. Are they on to me? Ah, oh, shut it! Apprehend him at once. That man there is the assassin. Nicely done, Sir Arisen. Let us inform Sir Ermhild of what has transpired. Oh, your majesty. Full glad am I to see you unharmed. The brigand has been captured. The chaos of the past few days ought to be behind us now. 
We owe this outcome to you, Sir Arisen. You cannot know the depth of my gratitude. Ah, yes, of course. Batal is in your debt, Sir Arisen. The same is true of you, Sir Manella. Your efforts were most admirable, considering your wound. Now that a measure of peace is returned to us, however, you ought to devote yourself to convalescence for a time. You may. The curative hot springs on Volcanic Island are said to be wondrous for healing. Go there to recuperate. Very well, my lady. I shall leave presently, and return when I am fully recovered. Grateful are we for your most valiant efforts, Sir Arisen. Anyone gives me trouble, they'll taste steep. Dare say I can forget all my What was the missive that just arrived? Ah, oh, you know. The usual. From Vermont, bound straight for the archives. Not to be opened. Another one? What is the director up to? Well, never mind that. Did we get any other deliveries today, perchance? Surely you're not expecting another one of your love letters? Why, just the other day, you were warned not to use this address for personal correspondences. You really mustn't be so imprudent. Need I remind you that if word of our activities here was to get out, we could be shut down. Yes, yes, I'm well aware of that, thank you. Now come, enough gossiping. We've work to be getting on with. So you're the one Benjamin sent to get the whelp to talk, eh? Well, go on then. Don't dawdle. And I'll thank you not to distract the jailers from their charge. See if you can escape me a second time. Who are you supposed to be then, eh? Quit staring. Wait, you're one of the ones that came crawling into our hideout. Ha! 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 Ain't funny, really. But seeing you is reminding me of that bleeding runt's face. <laughs> I'm talking about Hugo, of course. Ha! Didn't you hear him sobbing as we left? 
Lanzo, why? Boo hoo! <laughs> Bet he's still crying over it, eh? Like a babe without its mum. <laughs> of course, Lanzo's already forgotten about the poor sod. Was right glad to be rid of him, truth be told. That blackguard. Oh, it tells me there's more to his tail. Not sure I can stomach it, mind. Hugo's been following Lanzo around ever since he was a kid. Wouldn't quit it, neither. Even when it got him a beating. Still, there's a use for whelps like him. Guards aren't like to throw a brat in jail for pocketing a few trinkets, eh? They can earn their own living that way. When one shop starts getting suspicious, they just move on to another. Easy pickings for a kid. And having a few whelps along makes setting up in a new town a trice. The guards don't suspect a thing. But Hugo had gotten too big for that, see? We'd run out of uses for him. Well, save throwing him to the dogs, so as we could make our escape. <laughs> How are we to fight with such worn out gear? Wonder if anyone can help us. What can I do for you? Oh, you want the banded whelp released, do you? I suppose I could consider it. I, being head jailer, has its privileges. I could accommodate such a request if I were so inclined. Of course, you'd need to prove your integrity first. I can't go around unlocking cells for just anyone. Aye, you've made your case well. I'll see to it that the request for the lad's release is put through. But you might have to be patient. One cannot rush these things. That blackguard. Oh, it tells me there's more to his tail. Not sure I can stomach it, mind. Hard to believe the lad never figured out we was using him. Real loggerhead, that one. Did he ever tell you his story? About how his parents were killed by brigands or some such? Couldn't be more obvious who that was, eh? Ah, his mum was a comely lass. Don't remember a thing about his da. We roughed them up, had a bit of fun. Emptied their purses and the like. Lanzo slit their throats himself. It was hard not to laugh, watching daft little Hugo grow up, hanging off Lanzo's bootstraps and never questioning a damn thing. <laughs> We've a new hideout now, over on the ancient battleground. Aye, right, I ain't afraid to tell you that. I might owe Lanzo a favour or two, but not enough to rot in here for him. In fact, why don't you go pay him a visit, eh? Ain't right that I'm the only one in this hole. What do you want now? Oi. Listen. Do you think someone like me could live an honest life after all that's happened? Come off it. You don't mean that. <laughs> You're serious. Always wanted to try. Earning an honest living, I mean. But what could I do? Not sure as I've many skills, save picking pockets. <sighs> Suppose that dream was a crock of shite from the start. I ain't leaving this cell, let alone finding decent work. I've no relations, no coin for a decent bribe. I'll probably rot in here till I breathe my wretched last. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. We seem to have arrived without issue. But are we safe here? Cool. No, it's so dull. 
Let me get that. What is it? Have you brought me something to sate my unquenchable thirst for knowledge? A book, perchance? No, oh, a letter, is it? Let's see here. But know that tonight the moon shall again be shrouded in a veil of gossamer clouds, awaiting the return of the sun's warming glow. Well, well. I'd not put Deesa the capacity for such refinement. Tis a love letter of a sort, one that draws on ancient symbolism to convey its message. The moon represents a woman, the sun, a man. Put simply, what this letter means to communicate is, I miss you. Ha! <laughs> a surprisingly saccharine sentiment coming from the Queen Regent. Would you not agree? I know not who this Phasus is, though tis safe to say that Disa is rather invested in him. What concerns me is this godsway mentioned in the first line. If we can take this letter at its word, and twas indeed granted to the Queen Regent, we can surmise that it must be something tangible, an object. As to what manner of object, however, I can only begin to guess, and I am not one for pointless conjecture. I suspect someone of Batali heritage might be able to tell you more. A common reward, frustratingly so. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. Water is nigh invisible in this gloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boots. I expect that's a common occurrence in our line of work. Do take care on the road, sir. Times we live in. You know where to find me. I fear I've no welcome to offer. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, excellent find. We shall await you here, Master.
Glad I am to see you well. I've been wondering how you were getting on. Have you learned aught of the intent behind that letter? Would seem my mother has joined hands with a Batali researcher to achieve her purpose. Which, according to this missive, is to arrange things so that I might rule the kingdom. But I don't understand. Vermont needs no consul. It's found its ruler, its sovereign pretender though he may be. To say naught of you, does she mean to remove you and the false sovereign both from the picture? Is that what is meant by this tragedy? Tis a frightful thought, yet we are in a much stronger position for having learned of it. You've my gratitude for this. I now know what tis I must do.